Okay, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you the fastest and easiest way to root your Android phone using a new app called Universal Android. It is not available in the Android market. It, you download it off the Universal Android website, which I'll have the link in the description. Um, now, before we do this, we do have to talk about some things. First of all, this does not work on the HTC Evo, Samsung Galaxy S, or the MyTouch Slide. Um, the, keep checking back for updates on this app because each update usually brings uh, more compatibility with other Android phones. There are ways to root those phones that you just use a different method. You cannot use this Universal Android uh, Universal Android app. So let's go right into this. Um, oh, another thing you know, notice that I am running 2.1 on my Motorola Droid. This app also does not work for the just the Motorola 2.2 update. It does not work on Froyo on the Motorola. So just Motorola. So let's get right into this. I, like I said, I will have the link in my description. But you're going to go to your browser and you can... Um, Look, you can do this on your computer too, or just send this link to your browser. But you're going to pull up this um, website, and um, down here you can see it has the QR code. If you do do it on your desktop computer, you can scan this bar QR code with your barcode scanner, and it'll start downloading. But here's the link right here um, to download it if you are on your phone. Um, but on the website, you can see it is in a different language, but the important parts are in English. Um, so right here, you have the list for supported devices. Make sure your device is on there. And right here, not supported. You can see um, the uh, Google Nexus One. It does work on the Google Nexus One, not the FRG33 update. The 2.2 maintenance update is not the 2.2 update itself. It is a maintenance update, so make sure you don't have FRG33 installed. Um, the Samsung i900, i650, u, i7500, and i5700. Um, it does not work on those. It also does not work on the HTC Desire, the Legend, the Wildfire, or the Sony Ericsson S10i. Um, so, like I said, make sure your phone is on the supported list. If you have any questions about that, just leave a comment, uh, and I'll get back to you about that. But, anyway, so since I'm on my phone, I'm going to just click that link right there. And it'll start downloading. Um, once that downloads, first of all, you're going to want to go into your settings and go into applications and check that check install um, apps from unknown sources so once that is done you're going to just click the download and you'll pull up the universal Android um, download screen and you're just going to hit install so there it goes already application installed and we're just going to open and you can see right here um, here's the universal Android like home screen this is the route that will home screen that will pop up every time you hit universal android so you can go see right you can see right here go root and undo root it's as simple as that two buttons um i am not rooted right now you can see if i um press undo root it says your device is not rooted so i'm not rooted right now um first of all you're going to go hit the scroll down tab and you're going to choose which um super user you want to uh, install based on your um, software version. So I have Droid 2.1, so I'm going to install Super User for Android 2.0 to 2.2. After that, you have that installed, all you're going to do is hit Go Root. It says Preparing Device, Rooting. And there you go. All ready. Woot, your device is rooted. So after you do that, you're just going to reboot and I'll see you back when we when we reboot okay once we're back and once you have rebooted you're just going to go back to your home screen and you can see once you open your app drawer you will have 
super user permissions. That's what you want. That'll that means you're rooted. So after that, you're gonna go into the market and search ROM manager. And you can see there's a free and a premium version. All you need is a free version. So just install that. Once you have ROM manager installed, you're just going to click to open it. Okay, and you see one the first time you open ROM manager, it's a little bit of a disclaimer. It's not responsible for any damage that you cause to your phone. And by the way, I am not responsible either for any damage that you do to your phone. And I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but I have to say that so I don't get a bunch of crap if you messed up your phone. But this is very safe if you follow the directions and if your phone is on the supported list. Make sure that. But anyway, so you're just going to hit OK and OK again. And then, first thing you're going to do before you do anything is back up current ROM. Um, this will back up all your settings and all that stuff. So if anything does go wrong, you can just restore your ROM and you'll be right back to the way you were. Um, I'm not going to do this right now just for a time, but you do want to do that. Make sure you back up your current ROM. Um, after you do that, you're going to hit Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Let's click that. And then confirm your phone model. And then super user request is going to pop up and always hit allow. And then right there you can see successfully flash clockwork mod recovery. Now, um, after you do that, um, there is also, you can also flash an alternate recovery. You, pro you will probably hear a lot about SP recovery. A lot of people use that. I recommend Clockwork Mod. It's a lot easier to work with. You can do just the same things, really. Um, I really recommend Flash Clockwork Mod. But if you really want SP recovery, all you're gonna ha want, all you're gonna have to do is just hit Flash Alternate Recovery, and you'll have SP recovery. So after that, after you have um, Clockwork Mod recovery installed, um, you're just gonna want to. You're done. Basically, you are rooted. You can see if we re boot into recovery now if you have a droid you can also um, reboot into recovery by powering your phone off and then powering on by holding down the power button and X button at the same time until clockwork mod pops up but you can also just go in and you can see right there clockwork mod recovery you're rooted so um, that's it guys. Um, watch my video for um, how to install custom ROMs and themes, which is probably what you want. Um, that's it for now. Just leave, if you have any problems or questions, just comment um, in the video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, see you later guys.